into Off Topic. I have got a co-host today. Can I call you my co-host? Yeah, I'd love to be your co-host. Kyle Martino, former MLS player turned NBC Sports analyst. And now you have a new show, 36 Hours. Tell me, to break it down for me. Okay, break it down. So New York Times column, okay. they had 36 Hours that was basically just an itinerary on how to do these major cities, where to eat, where to drink, what to get into mm -hmm. in 36 hours. And because it was so popular and had this great uh, readership, they wanted to find a way to make it come alive for a television show. Okay. And I was lucky that I got tapped to be the one to try to bring it alive. Amazing. So you yeah. go to these cities, you experience yeah. their culture, their food. What has been your favorite place that you've been so far? Oh, uh, Berlin, I think. Berlin. I, I learned, you know, you learn about Berlin, the Cold War, and textbooks in school, and you have this very historical idea of when the Berlin Wall went down in, in the late 80s and sort of communism, capitalism, east, west, and to get there and see how vibrant and, and colorful it is and how young and... and Very young. I noticed, yeah, the, I noticed young. that same thing. And especially in East Berlin, where when the wall went down, many people went west and, mm -hmm. and sort of went and ventured out to this idea of opportunity and, and exploration. And it left all these pockets in East Berlin that was filled in by a lot of young artistic, whether it be chefs or, or a lot of like street graffiti artists that they, mm -hmm. they have this amazing piece of the wall that's still up called the, um, I think it's the East Gallery that has all these street artists that come from all over the world to graffiti up on the wall. I tried yeah. to do a little piece. I think I got sure a selfie on that wall. It was awful. At some point. Did you? Yeah. Um, so any travel tips? I travel a lot as well. Do you do, you do anything to kind of, I've I've learned to master the art of sleeping on a plane. Oh really? Which has come What is the art in of that? Hint. Is it medicating? Is it just taking Advil PM and just crashing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just the more just drugs, the, the better your sleep, sleep will be. Yeah. Uh, travel tips. I'm lucky, but in my plane career, you just had someone that handed you a ticket and pointed you to a plane, and mm -hmm. we were kind of idiots in that way. I was always the guy that showed up and forgot my passport and was <laughs> on the flight the next day after the team. Yeah. So I'm lucky that I have a crew now helping me again, but mm. travel Kyle, tips are- remember your passport. Yeah, exactly. They like staple it to my jeans. <laughs> um, it's basically just trying your best not to whip out a huge map and look like you have no idea what's going on okay. and, uh, and be up for getting lost. You know, don't really set yourself to like a hardcore itinerary. Mm -hmm. Although our show will give you a nice itinerary if you want to watch 36 <laughs> hours on Monday <laughs> nights. Um, but yeah, just be up, just be up for getting lost. Cause think about when people come to the city, they're like, you know, where, which area should I go in? You're kind of, you know, you're like, I can think of a couple great spots, but really just go, go get lost mm -hmm. a little bit. And explore. And I feel like being lost or getting lost, that, that's how I learned the New York subway is just getting lost. Yeah. On. It's the best way to figure out. like, I'm going uptown, out. right? And they're like, no, we're going to be in the financial district in about two stops. <laughs> you're like, whoops. I'm in a lot of MLS cities. Do yeah. you, you've traveled to all yeah. of them. What are your favorite MLS cities? Um, Columbus, for my playing days, very I romantic. Just got back have from a, there. Did you love it? I love it. It's incredible. I mean, we felt big time because we were one of only two professional teams there. So, <laughs> and, and it costs like hundred thousand dollars to buy a house. So you're like, real world cake. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. Then you get traded to LA and rent a studio apartment, Ooh. and you're like, okay, real world actually is really hard. Um, <laughs> I love. I mean, all this, you know what, I'm, what I, I guess it's bittersweet, but cool now that I get to do it as, a, as an analyst or a commentator, whatever you call it, is to, I never got to play at CenturyLink or, or Jeldwin and, and now the new uh, Sporting KC. I, I never got to play in these incredible cauldrons of like wild passion where, you know, there's 60,000 people at CenturyLink standing up the whole game. Mm -hmm. It's cool that I get to experience that now as a kind of a fan, I feel like a fan again but I wish I, I could go back in time and step on those fields. Do you, do you ever miss playing? I mean, you're around it all the time working for NBC. Uh, yeah, I, I do. I mean, the end of my career was so, um, was so tough because I had all these bad injuries mm -hmm. and, and I'd seen the track that I was on and, and, where, and where I'd sort of derailed and couldn't get back on. And it was just so frustrating because you know, when you're like in your late 30s, you have this tough decision where your mind still knows what you want to do and your body can't do it. To have that happen at like 27, 28 was kind of hard to stomach. So initially I wanted kind of nothing to do with it and didn't miss it. I think I'm starting to, I definitely have fallen in love with the game watching it as a fan as I was when I was a kid and, and feel that buzz and that glow again. I've yet to really like fall in love with feeling that urge to, to go play a lot mm -hmm. more again. Plus, I can only play for like 10 minutes before I'm gassed and people are saying, get <laughs> And now the you're field. traveling the world with your new yeah. show, so on yeah. to bigger and better things. So where can where can everyone watch this new show? Uh, Travel Channel, Monday nights, 8 p.m. Um, Barcelona coming up next, don't miss that. 
See, I love I love when I have my guests do my job for me. Yeah, you're better at your job than I am. <laughs> okay, well, let's be honest. Well, thank you so much for. Uh, yeah, that was awesome. Thanks for having me. Hey, can I come to your next uh, place with you? Yeah, I'd be a good. Can you carry my passport? Because I, I normally forget that. Actually, I do too. So maybe we wouldn't make a good team. We'll be at JFK. <laughs> Bye.